Alright guys, today we're gonna be talking about the My Player Wishlist on NBA 2K18. So let's get straight into it. I have nothing to hesitate about. You are not here for hesitation, so let's get into it. Smoke! So I hope the graphics are better. This makes the whole game okay. This is not only about my player. Everything needs to have great graphics. But if it's one thing I want, is the my player. Cause I don't know. It's been. It kind of was like copy and paste from 2K16 to 2K17. So we really need better graphics. It's not that big of a deal if the gameplay is great. You know, you can kind of care less. I hope they have a new face creation system to where you can make your f uh, my players' faces look more like the legends, you know, because they don't put in legends like Charles Barkley and Reggie Miller. Then, I hope of better animations. This is what makes or breaks the game, especially in the my player system because. You know, it could it, it could be all right, you know, with the graphics and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter if the animations are stupid. Like you're stepping out of bounds, like throwing the ball 500 yards when your teammate's right next to you. Like those little things break the game, and people get mad. At and please have more my player apparel. And NBA Live normally has the better apparel. I'll flash some pictures on the screen of NBA Live just killing it with their apparel. It's it's amazing because they're gonna get all these other uh, businesses to sign with them, which makes them so much better in the source when it comes to reality. Because I don't want to walk out with some freaking canvas shorts and a damn wife beater. It's like, come on. It's, it's horrible because you can only have like NBA jerseys. Like if you have to deck your man out, you have to wear NBA shit, which I think is totally stupid. Because the whole game is about NBA. But when it comes to like trying to be real life of it, because the park is trying to make it real life. And they just screwed that up because they need like if you can sign with you, you already signed with Nike, Jordan and Adidas. Those are three big companies, and you can put their stuff in the game. But no, you can't have the sleeveless Jordan shirt, which always looks good. All right. But anyway, this should be the best time for 2K to excel. NBA Live just got off um, a two-year time when they did not have a new game. People were stuck with NBA Live 16 the whole time. Tell you the truth, I could care less about live. I mean, I really wanted to compete with 2K though, because then we know we're going to get some good games. And I might even have to switch to live and play it out. Because, I don't know, playing the game is just a little bit different than 2K. Seems like 2K has more of an arcadey atmosphere to it, which makes it a little bit more fun. That's not good though. You could have, I should, I think they should put a game mode in where it's like, you could choose it to be like arcadey, like you make stupid shots. Or to be totally realistic, where the animations are on point, the reactions of players are on point, where everything's just decked out great as it can be closest to the NBA game. And then you can choose arcade modes. That would make their game like 300% better. Because I'm tired of the cheesers. Like, I, can I play a ranked match? Because I'm always playing with bums. Like, I don't play with a crew. I don't have a crew. Now, since I'm switching to PS4. I'm starting from the bottom. Like, I can't even call one of my friends over. I mean, I have friends on a PS4 from school and shit like that. But they don't play 2K like that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look for a whole new crew. And the thing is, my record is going to be worse. worse. Now, I want to play ranked matches. So, people actually at my rank actually know what they're doing. You know, if I'm a rookie, you know, I shouldn't expect people to be great. You know? Rookies are going to suck. But once I get to that all-star level, people I should start playing with people that actually know the game. Next, and they should be able to demote people. 
to lower reps. Because you can play 100 games, but if you lose 99, you better not think of repping up. Anyway, more longevity to the my career story. This is one of the biggest problems we've had in the 2K community. My career story lasts for about the first half season and then it just goes away once you start going to the top there needs to be more storyline because that is important to have people have, yeah they have some depressing storylines when they're at the bottom because a lot of NBA players like LeBron James start from the wrong side of the train track but that's the, the side of the situation now people don't focus on what his beginning story was but on what he is right now so yeah come on to it then we need more parks and more park events please to get park after dark i thought it was pretty lit but guess what servers are bad you know i, I was looking forward to it servers are bad i wait three hours to play park after dark servers are bad servers can kill the whole game okay? you need to notice that because I mean, shit, you have a horrible game, but if the gameplay is good and the uh, servers are good, you're gonna sell. All right. I'm not saying to freaking go horrible on 2K, cause 2K needs to become better. Like last year, they they did the cheapest way of doing it. And I think because they know that they're getting closer to getting better, that they're just going to try to slow it down so they can put out as many games before, you know, they, they can't put any out. But they always have to uh, okay. um, rebuild the roster, so I don't know what the excuse is. Then we need to, br then we need to have a better broadcasting crew. You have no idea how much this makes the game. It might be bad, you know, bad visuals, kind of okay gameplay, like live, but live has a broadcasting crew, and I can sit there and I will watch through it, I won't spam A to get past it, because it looks like real life broadcasting crew, and it's done really well, they excelled at that point, only thing they need to do is their gameplay, and that's it, that's it, live will excel and kill 2K. So that's why 2K needs a better broadcasting crew. You've had the same two people for three years now. From 2K15, 2K16, and 2K17, Shaq and Ernie have been there. Yeah, I get it. You added Kenny Smith, but he's been there for two years. Like bring in Charles Barkley as an analyst. Put on some more uh, sideline analysts and have some cutscenes during the game about them talking like during a timeout. That will be perfect time or before when the game starts. Yeah, David Aldridge on the sidelines, that was a nice touch. But we need some more analysts. There's just not one analyst. There's not one David Aldridge and one Doris Burke running the whole freaking show. Come on, 2K. You should show us some cutscenes like before we, we go back. I know you do some cutscenes of like what the city looks like. But before we even get to the game, they should show... Like, I'll show you one of the videos I did, one of the intros, and it looks spot on. If 2K did that, it will make their game so much better. I mean, I have no idea how happy, you have no idea how happy I would be to get on the sticks every day and play 2K if they had a broadcasting system. I wouldn't be spamming the A to get past that halftime show, because that halftime show is booty cheeks. It might have, like, cool animations, but it's booty cheeks. We want it close to real life. We don't want no boo-boo, half-ass shit. And that's been like it from day one. 2K15, they did amazing. Because they just got off of 2K14, which was pretty damn solid. But 2K15 brought in the parks. Made it great. 2K16 brought in more parks. Put the parks to better detail. And guess what? 2K17 is all copy and paste, which doesn't get, give me any sense. I guess they need some competition for them to excel. That's why I'm looking forward to this year, because I hope Live kicks them back in that normal position. And can we have an apartment, can we have an outside life except for playing basketball 200% of the time? LeBron James and all the great players, they don't just sit, play basketball, sleep, play basketball, eat, play basketball, basketball, 
they don't do that. They have another life. Like, we should be able to go to meetings with cousins that are, like, helping out the poor, helping out the elderly, helping out all these other people. It would help so much. Someone's blowing up my phone right now. Don't worry about that, though. That should be another feature in the game. The phone last year was horrible. You couldn't call someone up. They had to call you up to have a text message. Which I thought was just stupid. It's like one way come. Thank you guys for watching. If you want me to do more of this series? Leave a like. See you later.